Hi, I'm Jim Hodge, pastor of the Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Grand Rapids. And here is the yarn bowl that was promised as sort of a penance for making brownies. It's all done and complete. And as you can see, it's well used. Welcome to another episode of Sequestered Spirituality. We all do what we can to manage and maintain the relationships we have in this difficult time of isolation. And so whether it's brownies or a yarn bowl or whatever it is we need to do to keep each other safe and happy and healthy, uh, we find time to do it. Of course, there are the essentials like food and shelter, and some people don't even have those. And there are others out there on the front lines that are making it uh, easier for them and keeping them healthy and finding them a place to stay and feeding them. Those are the essentials, but sometimes you run into something that you didn't think was essential, but turns out it really is. Here's a case in point. Kathy was not happy with the way her hair was beginning to look. And so, because she couldn't go to the beauty parlor, uh, her beautician made it possible for her to have an in-home treatment, which is what those photos were all about, the before, during, and after. And I was roped in, or I mean, I was voluntold, or I mean, I volunteered to help with that. And in the helping of it, I discovered I may have a new calling. I could be a hair dyer perhaps even a beautician or maybe even a barber. But the sad fact of the matter is that it probably will never come to pass because whereas she was willing to have me help dye her hair, there was no way that I was going to be able to pick up a pair of scissors and, you know, give her a trim. So the point of this is, really, during this time of isolation and dealing with those whom you have to deal with because they're living in the same premises you are, are there experiences where you discover you have a talent you didn't know you had? And upon discovering it, what would you do with it next? How would you share it with others? And more, more succinctly in terms of spirituality, how would you share it with others to the glory of God in Christ? Who knows? You may even develop a new way of relating to people. Like my new beauty shop, Shea Jemay. Well, I, I can dream, can I? I mean, so can you, and I hope you do.